Hello everyone. If you have a data set where you need to maintain records of zip code or security numbers, then you know how important it is to keep leading zeros in Excel. You can easily do this within a click. So this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to convert number to text with leading zeros in Excel. Before going into methods, let me explain to you the dataset a bit. Suppose you are dealing with a zip code that consists of five numbers. But whenever you are trying to enter the zip code with a leading zero, then you'll see Excel automatic cuts the leading zero. So that's why we have to convert number to text with leading zero in Excel. And to do that, at the very beginning, we'll use the text format. So at very first, we have state, zip code, and text with leading zero in column B, C, and D. At first, select the whole D column and go to the Home tab. Here, in the number section, now select the text option. Now, if we go to the D5 cell and enter our zip code consisting 5 numbers 0, 4, 3, 3, 0, then you'll see Excel is keeping the leading zero here. So, for every manual time, you have to insert the text manually and you'll see that Excel will keep the zeros here. You will see that every cell has leading zero like we have wanted. But there remains a problem here. You will see a tiny green triangle in the left corner of each cell. To get rid of this problem, at first you have to select the whole column and then select the error option and now select ignore error. Then you will see your problem have been solved. So that's how our first method works. Now we want to do the same job by using the custom format option. At first we can easily select the whole column C and copy it down by using Ctrl plus C in the keyboard. Then go to the D column and paste it down by using Ctrl plus V in the keyboard. So you can easily select the whole D column and go to the home tab and select the number section. Here you have to select the more number formats and then in the format cell dialog box you can select custom option. In the custom option in the type section you have to select the five numbers as your zip code consists five numbers. So you will select the type and press OK. Then you can easily see the custom format shows the leading zeros where it needs zero before it. For keeping the leading zeros, we can also use the apostrophe option. To do that, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the apostrophe and now enter our five numbers zip code, which is 04330. Hit the enter button then you will see Excel is keeping the leading zero. After that you have to manually insert the apostrophe and the zip code for every time. So you have got your text with leading zeros but you can see that you have the same problem like the first method. So usually you can select the whole column and again select the ignore error option to solve the problem. So that's how you can easily use apostrophe to get the job done. In our new method, we want to use the text function to keep the leading zeros. To do that, at first we'll go to the D5 cell and write down the text function. Now you will have two parameters, value and format text. 
as value, we'll select the C5, which basically the cell we want to convert. Then as our zip code is five character, so we have to insert five numbers in the format text. Now, if we hit the enter button, then we'll get our perfect zip code with the leading zero. Now, drag the formula down to use it to every cell. So that's how we can easily use text function to keep the leading zeros. Now, we'll try out write function to keep the leading zeros. To do that, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the write function. In the write function, you have to select the format text as our zip code is 5 characteristic. So, we'll write down 5 zeros as format. After that, we'll use ampersand operator and select the input value C5. Now, we have to use 5 characteristic. So, we'll write down the 5 here. Now, if you hit the enter button, then you'll get your perfect result with the leading zero. Now, drag down the formula to use it to every cell. So that's how you can easily use write function to convert number to text with leading zeros in Excel. In our new case, we want to use the base function. To do that, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert our base function. Now, we'll select the C5 as number, which basically means the number we want to convert. Then we have to insert 10 as radix. That means we'll use 10 decimal number here. After that, we have to also show the minimum length of the result. So as we're trying to get the result of five characteristic zip code, so write down five as minimum length. Now, if we hit the enter button, then we'll get your perfect result of five characteristic zip code. Now copy down the formula to get our final result by using the base function. In our new method, we want to add zeros without even thinking about the total characteristics number. In previous methods, every time we are trying to get the five characteristic zip code. So where the leading zero is needed, we have added, where it is not needed, we have not added. But in this case, we'll add the zeros without even thinking the total length of the number. So we'll use concatenate function to do that. Let's go to the D5 cell and insert our concatenate function. So we'll write down concatenate and now we want to add two zeros before every cell of the column C. So we'll write down double zero as our first text and now we'll insert the C5 cell as our input value. Now hit the enter button to get double zero before the cell of the C5. Now copy it down to every cell to get the same result for every cell. You will see every cell of the D column have two zeros before it without even thinking about the total length. So that's how you can use concatenate function to get the job done. In our new method, we want to do the same job like the previous one, but using the ripped function. To do that, at first we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the ripped function. After that, we have text and number times parameters. We'll select zero. That means we want to have it. Then we want to copy it how many times, which is basically we'll copy it down for two times. So write down two. And then in the ampersand operator, you have to select the input value, which is C5. After pressing the enter button, you'll get the same result like the previous method. Now copy down the formula, then you'll see in every cell you have two zeros before the number. So that's how you can easily get the same job like the previous one by using the ripped function. Now we want to use the combination of ripped and length functions to do the same job like the previous method. At first, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert our first function, which is the rep function. In the rep function, you'll have two options, which is zero, the text you want to copy, and then how many times. As you're trying to get it for five times, 
as our zip code is five characteristic so write down five and then we have to subtract the line with the lane function the lane function mainly consists the number characters of text here we'll use the c5 as the input value after that we'll use the ampersand operator and our insert value will be the c5 as our zip code number now if we hit the enter button then you will see you will have your text with the leading zeros now drag down the formula to apply it to all the cells then you will see every cell has a leading zero with its text in our last method we want to use power query editor to get the job done now at first select the data range from b4 to b13 after that we'll select the data tab option and select the table option from the get and transform data now in the create table option you have to tick my table has headers and click ok here now the power query editor section will get open and now you can name your table as you have desired then you can go to the zip code number option and click on the number section here you have to convert it into text now you will have two things here which is replace current or add new step you can easily check one of them i'll select add new step and after that you can easily see the change here now you can go to the add column option and select custom column here in the custom column dialog box i have set the column name as text with leading zero now we have to insert the formula by using the text pad star which basically shows to manipulate the column data now we can easily insert the bracket function and now we have our column name here which is zip code number you can easily select it and then insert the comma and as we are dealing with five characteristic zip code so write down five and now we have to enter the zero in the double quotation as we are dealing with a character name so we'll write down double quotation and we have to insert zero in it now we will end the bracket function and close it down by using the ok here now you will see you have got with text with leading zero you can easily go to the file option here and then select the close and load to option now you will have import data dialog box here you have to select the table option and then in the existing worksheet you have to select the cell which is in this case c4 and then press ok then you will see your text result with the leading zeros here so that's how you can easily use power query method to get the job done so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing us for more content like this